most most kids and uh, and ladies when they first start playing, they find it easier to be able to. start going in the teal and tow away and stuff. Yeah. If you decide to get him into another set of clubs at some point there, oh, yeah. he's, learned, he's learned how to swing at it correctly now. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, this is this is one of his favorite clubs here, this little yeah, that, that one there, you still got the basically the same length on that one as you had on the four iron. Actually that's just a little bit shorter than the four iron. So you're gonna be standing just as close to it. There you go. Oh, that was straight. <laughs> you can tell that he swings that one more confident. Oh yeah, he's yeah he uh, he took my uh, driver and flew it about 165 the other day. It's too long for him, but he got the sweet spot on it. That's a long pop for a kid. That weighs 68 pounds. That particular swing there was probably the best he's put on one. Yeah, he, he you can see you can see how hard how much harder it oh, yeah. got harder how much faster. Yeah. He yeah he's got more confidence. Yeah, oh absolutely. Well I told him everyone has at least one or two clubs in their bag that I call them my uh, uh, recovery clubs. <laughs> I don't want to do anything to mess him up. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, but I'm being serious. I mean, you, you get that and you show it to him in uh, in slow motion or top, particularly on, on this one, the last three, when he sets it up at the top, he's at, at the top, he's absolutely perfect at the top. That's good to know. There you go. Yeah, he's, he's, he's been hitting some nice draws. He's been, he's been taught well. You got it. <laughs> yeah, the, the big thing there is, it's also, you know, the, the shaft, I got to look at this there, but I mean, that's the thing. Yeah, well, you can get some new grips on the stuff there. You can do it here, can't you? Uh-huh. See, he's got the, the, the kids flex on there, so it's helping them get a little bit more. Uh, it's got, yeah, it's got that yeah. uh, that little that's, shaft. Is I'll shoot that, that. That's a really good club for him there because these other ones here, like that four. Those steel shafts are. Oh, that's got a steel shaft. And yeah, that thing's yeah. Got so much more of a. Yeah. That's, that's almost hard for him to get squared up coming that you're using your lower body on it. Okay. What I'm wanting to do now though, and this is going to be something that's going to be a little bit of a, a challenge for you to try and get the ball going a little bit better, is you, you're like most people, you're wanting to hit it with your upper body. And the golf swing is actually more with your lower body. So what you're doing is you're coming back here and you're using your big muscles to swing where you're coming down and you're doing it with your upper body and then the weight transfers afterwards. The idea of when you're hitting a golf ball, when you come back and you're getting what we call loaded up here at the top, you're wanting to actually start to swing with your lower body where you're 
right hit and have, the, and have his go towards the target. See what you want to do is like him, you play baseball. What you want to do is when you're in baseball, you're coming through, and the first thing you do is you step towards the plate, right? Or step towards the mound, right? It's kind of the same thing as far as in this. What you're going to be doing here is you're coming up, but instead of stepping forward, you're turning your with your hips and turning that way towards the target. And then your hands just kind of fall. Or I'll show you. This, this is what I'm showing what you're doing right now. This is what you're doing. You come through here, and the arms start down, and then your legs kind of catch up after you. See how much more you got the weight over there to your other side? Let's see if I hit a few more. I don't know what it is. I'll work my way back in the way. Good. 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 coming through, it's not that you're swinging at it poorly, it's just that the timing's not there enough yet because you're not getting the feel where the club face is not getting squared up coming through. You see this, if I come through and the club face is nice and square, then the ball's going to go straight where I'm aiming. But this is, if I come through and that club face is a little bit open, then the ball for me is going to go out to the left, just like yours if it comes through and, it comes through and it's open, it's going to go out there to the right. It's not that you made a bad swing on it at all or that you did anything different that time than the other, other than the fact that your timing was off because when you come through, this is how the club goes through. It rotates like this. And what all yours was doing is just coming through. So instead of rotating and being square when you hit the ball, all it did was just open up. So don't be thinking when you hit a shot over there like that, oh, what did I do different with my swing? All you're really doing there is your timing was off a little bit. <coughs> thing that I see people do is that when they start hitting shots like that where they start hitting one out like way left or way right they're thinking I did something differently in my swing and yeah but it